Have you ever wondered why the Victorians were so particular about their dining etiquette? What was it about the mere act of eating that required such a complex set of rules and rituals? The Victorian era, a period in British history spanning from 1837 to 1901, was a time of strict social codes and formalities, especially when it came to dining. Let's embark on a culinary journey back in time, tracing the course of a Victorian meal from beginning to end to unravel the mysteries of Victorian dining etiquette. Our journey begins with the arrival of guests. In the Victorian era, punctuality was considered a virtue. Arriving late was not merely frowned upon, it was deemed disrespectful. Upon entering the dining room, guests would be greeted by the host and hostess and then directed to their assigned seats. Seating arrangements were a matter of great importance, typically organized by social rank and gender. Once everyone was seated, the meal could begin, but don't be too hasty. Dining in the Victorian era was not about satisfying hunger, but rather a social event, an occasion to display one's manners and refinement. The soup course would be served first, followed by fish, then the main course and finally dessert. Each course was accompanied by its own set of cutlery, which had to be used in the correct order, moving from outside in. Victorians were expected to maintain a dignified demeanor at the table, and certain behaviors were considered breaches of etiquette. And then there was the question of conversation. While dining, Victorians were expected to engage in polite conversation, avoiding controversial topics and maintaining a cheerful disposition. It was also customary to pay attention to the person on your left during the first course and then switch to the person on your right for the second course. The meal would conclude with the serving of dessert followed by coffee and liqueurs. After the meal, it was customary for the ladies to retire to the drawing room, leaving the gentlemen to discuss business and politics over cigars and brandy. In summary, Victorian dining was a highly structured affair, governed by a set of intricate rules and rituals. From the moment guests arrived to the final course, every aspect of the meal was designed to uphold the values of respect, decorum and social hierarchy that were so central to Victorian society. So the next time you sit down to a meal, consider how the Victorians would have dined. It might just add a touch of elegance and sophistication to your dining experience. 